My take is that Paco and Mexican aren't gonna top 10 grands. I already hey. think that's a hot take. Anybody EU knows <laughs> this is not a hot take. Paco's not been like top, top level for a long while. Uh, my name is Kenny and I'm calling in from Virginia. Hey, welcome, welcome, Yo. welcome, shout out Virginia. What is your take, my friend? Uh, my take is that Paco and Mexican aren't gonna top 10 grands. Oh, I was waiting for this. They all, I was actually they all. waiting. He Bro, said he's they from are, Virginia. They he's are. saying aren't. He's they saying are. Aren't, they right? aren't. They aren't. Well, they okay. are. Bro, they are. Any trader. Oh, aren't. No, he's okay, saying aren't. Aren't. Yeah, they aren't. Okay. Going to top aren't, 10 grand. Aren't. Sorry, my bad. Bottom 40. Okay. I, I already he think that's a hot take. Really? Okay. So, 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 I, this is why I really wanted to discuss this. I mm. think for people who are NA, they think this is a hot take, but yeah, anybody but... EU knows <laughs> this is not a hot take. It's not. Okay. Let me say this. Okay, go Like. I like. I, mean, I don't really. I, I'm chill with them. Like I don't have any problems with them. But people are really overrating Paco and um, is it Mixon? Yeah, Mixon. Yeah. Pa Paco, <laughs> Mixon. Paco and Mixon, like as if they were like some tier one, even tier two team, like from EU. They weren't. They were. They're like tier three, I'd say. So them mm -hmm. coming to NA, like obviously it's the hype of EU versus NA. Yeah. But it's, it's not even like our top caliber. It's not even below our top caliber. Like they're just mid players. Like even on EU, they didn't come top 10 top like they were struggling so for them to come na like i if they don't come top 10 i wouldn't be surprised like you know what i mean i think yeah. they're just going there for the quote spot i mean mix and blaha were pretty nuts though right no mix and yeah, yeah. Like, they, really they, good. they had they had a really good season and like mm. at one point like they looked like they had the potential to like sort of like move up and be better i think um i'll say mixon was tier two for sure but okay. you know there was a season where they were really good for sure there was a season where they were really good um but paco's not been like top top level for a long while uh so again for like people who like new eu like when i saw they went <laughs> pardon me sorry when i saw they went i was excited because it was like cool yeah like so we got an eu team going over that's like cool mm. but like i was not expecting anything too crazy because again they've just yeah so i'll ask you guys if mixon and paco were on eu where do you think they would place just so we get a comparison they grants. okay pink no i know cool i think they were cool grants but like okay. they wouldn't like i don't know okay sorry to cut you off i don't think paco's called grants in a long time maybe i'm misremembering i can double check this i don't think he's called grants in a while because I, I want because I want to hear your take, Pink, on like the difference. Then, so you think they'd make grands, but they wouldn't do well in grands, and you think they're in the same situation with NA? I'm just trying to gauge like where you put an NA lobby at in comparison to an EU lobby. I know I'm putting you on the spot, and that's like the one you get asked. I mean, a NA lot, and like... EU, I I'd say top pros are very similar. Mm -hmm. I'd say there's more EU, like yeah, that there's more pros on EU because obviously mm -hmm. more players. But the okay. top top pros, like they are, it's not like one's clear or the other. I think it's very close. But lobbies in general, like grands to grands, is used definitely harder because there's more yeah. better yeah. players. Yeah, I think the same thing. I think like the, the standout top three, top five pros on each region could do really well at land, which we've seen. But then I think the 50th best team on EU is considerably better than the 50th best team on NA. It's kind of like yeah. where I always stand on that one. So, okay, so not a hot take. The Mixon and Packer won't do well. I mean, they made it to grands calling 25th in upper bracket on a tie break for 1.1 average placement. Like it was not a... It was not a comfortable placement, and they had their drop uncon. They had the Cami Seti split uncon, which in the hands of Cami and Seti on EU, they won first game of uppers with what was it, like ten or eleven kills, or something, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. It was a very not, it was a very not dominant qualification. So I don't have extremely high hopes on going into it, but I just know that like if they do even decently well, the EU fanboys are going to be like, oh my god, NA is so easy, EU is crazy, and then if they don't do well now, it's going to come back to this. Oh, they're not EU's best team, it doesn't matter. So it's like, it's not doing much. I feel like the conversation's boring now. I want it to be a team where EU has to be like, this is one of our teams. Uh, 100% yes. If they do well, we are 100% claiming them. Yes, we will. <laughs> if they do well, yeah, we are claiming them. That's right, so. If they're right, doing good yeah. on EU yeah, and they're true, doing good true. on NA, you know how true, much true. of a bad look there is. Yeah, but, nah, of course. But man. coming back to EU versus NA, I'll put my whole life and everything I own on the line that the way Peter Bot and Poyo treat NA as absolute mm. dickheads, that would never happen on EU. Ever. True. Like, Mm. Like Venno and Queasy were kind of like what Peter Bot and Poyo are now, but mm. they would never ever be able to like just run through a lobby like they do on any. No, they weren't like even playing. like that though. Yeah, they weren't even like Queasy and Venno, bro. So I, I don't think it's comparable. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this at top level of EU. The, la the last time we had anything like this would be like MMB, bro. 
like and that's and chat, even that even in grand they didn't let him even in grand and someone's in grand, still, yeah, yeah people still grand, weren't scared. Like they had a mech well. to bring in but still yeah i know what you mean yeah right. okay cool it's, 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 it's tough to compare I, and for the record i did check the last grands he had got made in eu was major one last year so he, wow. he's not made, yeah he's okay. not made the grands in a okay. long time in eu Fair. Um, okay. yeah okay I just want to see someone go, man. I want to see an NA play, NA team go to EU or an EU team go to NA that the whole region like, like you know, rallies around as like a top three from their region. So we get a proper indicator. You know what I mean? We still I think if me that. and Kicks played, we would have won FNCS. I agree. I would have agreed like, on that one, I would, I would yeah. have loved to see the, that. The way I was playing, yeah. I if I went to so NA, it, I, I genuinely believe I would have won. Hey, what about I, I was watching your video? Was he what about Mongrel and Savage? Maybe, maybe you, the boys. Do you, think, you think I got a, do you think that's a crazy take from me? Do you think that's a dumb take? Um, if anyone who's watching at home who doesn't know, Savage at the end of his stream said, Look, me and Mongrel are still gonna keep playing together, but I'm not that sad because we've got massive plans next season. He was like, You know, you guys are really gonna like it. Wait till you see what we've been working on. Like, it, he, he hammed it up as something. So, my take has been they're moving to NA, which. I just feel like it, like there's 10 call spots for land. Again, I know Mongrel land, people are like, that's crazy. But I think if Savage keeps saying he wants to make land, but the content numbers, bro, like any cost of them going is completely, equal. like they're going to make so much off that content and it'd be so much more fun for them and for audience, everything. Savage and Mongrel to NA would be one of the sickest storylines ever. And I think it makes sense. If they're already going to move in together, which is what it sounds like they're talking about, what else could they have that's big plans? If not them moving together and playing together, if you're already moving to Germany, I know it's a different continent, but we know the cost for them. They're going to make it back with content and then some. Why not? I feel like it'd be sick, right? I've heard, I've Surely if you're Mongol Savage, you do it. Oh, I've heard some things in the pipelines. Aussie. So you can't talk because you might know. So you can't give anything away. I've, I've heard some things in the pipelines, Aussie. Oh, this guy's not heard the thing. This guy's not heard the thing. I've been keeping my ears to the streets. Okay. <sighs> I've had the birdies chirping. Oh, God. Uh, I've genuinely heard things in the pipeline, though. But... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> no, this is bullshit. So no one's ever say anything, bro. This sucks. I'm just, no, no. just like, kind of I've, 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 genuinely, I've genuinely heard shit, but I don't know about Levin. We can all do that act, but it's coming. Well, uh, you just copied yeah. my act. You took my whole gimmick. Like, uh, I okay. genuinely know. I genuinely know. Okay, I will say, though, I'd love to see it happen. Okay. And I think it's the best play for them to make. Okay. My only concern with it is that, like, how does it the logistics of it seem like hard you know like for them to be able to move it like unless they've been planning mm. it for a while which yeah. maybe they have been i wouldn't tell you maybe they have been but unless they've been planning mm. it for a while you know the logistics of it would visas seem, are slow you know, I, again they, yeah. they're doing what i did obviously on a different caliber like i went just for content but yeah getting a visa to the us is not easy they are exceptional figures where with their social media presence following they could definitely like speed things up and if they work with an org there was a company there they could get it pretty quick like there's some things you can do like if they mm. if the embassies aren't crazy right now as long as you get sponsored by a company that does the paperwork for you you can literally fly to mexico for five days to an american embassy give them your passport do the interview chill out by the beach for the next five days get approved and in you are as long as you do it on the like the o1 visa like the one that's for celebrities and and actors and all that kind of thing which they would qualify for but yeah, yeah. like pink since you've heard stuff in the time the pipeline so you can't actually say if you were them do you think it's a good idea you have to say whether they actually are doing it or not see it depends what they want to do do they want to call land mm. or make money because if they wanted to call land i think they would be better off splitting up yeah but if for the money i'd go na yesterday bro i'd yeah. go na yeah. asap yeah it's like okay just the the hype of them moving alone would like boost numbers significantly if that's something they care about and i know for a fact like just for them personally like the story of it and like they've moved to another region to try and find and, like, look at like, the hype of paco just, like imagine bro, seven and fucking yeah that's what i'm saying it'd be bro. crazy it, it would be so be nuts mental. i think i'm just going to bed because i'm like bro man the watch party like i'm doing i'm selfish too yeah. i want it to happen because like my shit yeah. would go crazy we, all that shit would go crazy Content numbers would be like they were last season. Like they can't. Right, let's make a deal, Ozzy. If they move to NA, you gotta buy me a roller. <laughs> what the no, wait, what? What I don't okay, I don't I'm not doing that. You keep, why, bro, you keep thinking I got rolling money. You poker watched me the other day, like I can just buy people Rolexes, bro. Like I'm not no, a whole no, ass no, this stop. bitch. I, I don't think I know. I know. <laughs> I know. You're not right, fooling anyone, caller. bro. Hey, no, Vix, hey, hey, hey thank you very much, right Vix. Thank you very much, Vix. Thank, thank you, you very Vix. much. I appreciate it. Appreciate you, brother. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, you can watch the full podcast right here. Just click on it, watch the full episode. You, you've already watched this video. You might as well watch the full podcast right here. Go on, click it.